Hi guys, I am Ivana and welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch. I'm going to be doing a what fits in my Morgan shoulder bag. I got a request. Thank you so much for the request. Hey girl. So let's get I'm on I'm still with trying it. to figure out how to do my setup to best show what I'm trying to do here. So this might be a little awkward, but please bear with me. So these are a few of the items that I carry, and I don't know if I'll be able to fit all of these in this bag, but we'll play around with it and see what we can do. This bag is a very east-west silhouette, as you can see here. And I will put the dimensions on the screen. So sometimes I find it a little challenging to fit everything in. If you've been following me for a while, you know that I always carry this double eyeglass case, but this is a little too puffy and bulky to fit into this bag. So I have switched my two pairs of glasses into these two separate cases, which I think will have a lower profile than that puffy bag. And I seem to be able to fit them all in here. So we will fit those in there. Also, this is a very common item that most of Dooney fans know about. I think it's a typical small size wallet or card case, so I'll be using this one. Although I'm pretty confident that you would be able to fit this one in its place, as well as this coach ID, small ID case. But for purposes of the video, I'll be using this one. And I also have my extra cards in my Louis Vuitton clay pochette. And then this dirty little case is what I keep my hand sanitizer in. I also have a, an essential oil roller ball as well as another essential oil roller ball and a Burt's Bees lip gloss, lip balm. So I have all those items in this little case, just for sake of what I'm carrying in there. And then there are just some loose items here that I will try to fit in there as well. Okay, let's get started. So here is the bag, here it is empty, and let's just start putting items in. I think I had these situated horizontally in here, and then I stuck my glasses in front of them, like so, and then I stuck the card case standing up as well as the wallet or other card case standing up in front of that one and then I put this one in sitting on top of my eyeglass case now this is already getting pretty full so at this point you could stop but I could probably still squeeze in a mask and maybe I would put that in an, in one of these cases. I've got my little Dolomite duck from my good friend says what and I carry this with me or I try to in every bag and there he is so cute. I like to think that he brings me good luck. So I like to carry him. Well, I've got two other lippies here. I think for the sake of space, I'm not gonna put this big uh, one. I'm gonna put this slimmer one because I think I have a better chance of squeezing that in. Then I've got these Listerine strips, which I could have put in one of these other pouches, but I didn't. Then I've got my picks, toothpicks. They're essential for me. And then I've got some gum. This is a pretty big package, but it's pretty slim. So I think I can just fit it in there. 
Now my keys, I don't typically carry my keys with me in my bag. I keep them in my pocket somewhere or I carry them in my hand, but I do throw them in my bag if I don't have a coat pocket or a pant pocket that I can fit them into. And I don't have a lot of stuff on my keys, just my car key, my one house key, my Dooney key fob and my key fob from, oops, upside down, from my son. This is a piece of his merch, PCEA, plan, commit, execute, and attain your goals. So I keep this on here to remind me of that every single day. And I think these can squeeze right in the front. So here's what it looks like all packed out and at this point, I wouldn't be able to fit a medium wristlet in here unless I was to take out some of these other items, but you can see it will fit in this bag. So I just wanted to mention that. And so now it is pretty stuffed, but I can still close the magnet. Oh, just to mention, I've taken the straps off just for ease of doing this video and it does close. It's pretty packed. And at this point, I would be able to still squeeze my phone into the back pocket, but it would be fairly tight. Now, the question was, will this magnet that is not so strong pop open when this bag is packed so tight? And the answer is, I'm just gonna just put a little pressure on it. and. If you put a little pressure on it or you catch it on something, which is easily done because of this little flap here, you could probably easily catch this on things like your hand or, or you know, something that you maybe bump, but you can see it's not very strong. And then it doesn't find itself very easily also when you have this bag packed too, too much, because as you can see, it's not lining up right there. Now, if I, it's because I have these items upright. Let's see if I put them now. Kind of rearrange things a little bit more. I put those two items horizontally and my keys on top of everything. And because it's expanded so much here from all the stuff in it, it still doesn't want to find itself. So. It's not very strong at all. I think that if you had this bag packed this much, it would be pretty fussy and probably it might drive me a little crazy, <laughs> but I could maybe remove some things like maybe I don't need my extra cards. These are just insurance cards and things. And maybe I don't need an extra lipstick. I never carry this thing loose because the cap is not tight. And so this makes it a little better and it does help that magnet want to find itself, but it's still very I think when you're just out and about, it's not going to flip open because when I pull on here, it doesn't release. But if I pull from the bottom, it releases very easily. So unless you're hitting it down here, maybe it's going to stay closed. Now I haven't carried this bag yet. So I have yet to test drive it. And once I do, maybe I can update in the comments how this went. I hope this helped. I think this bag is great for a minimal carry. Now, I don't think this bag is designed for maybe for a larger everyday carry, but I think it's great for like weekends out shopping or going out with friends, you know, for dinner or drinks or just going around town for the day with minimal stuff. And I, I think it's a beautiful bag. So I hope this helped. And thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a great day. Bye guys. Thanks. Take care.